<laughs> I apologize for the background noise at the moment. Humphrey is barking. Anyway, hi everybody, it's me now. Welcome back to my channel. Or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes. So I have been trying to film this video all afternoon and I am not having the best luck because I've been trying to film it on my iPhone but it's not saving it at all because it keeps going ballistic saying my storage is full which is really weird even though I just got more storage so I need to fix that and hopefully when I get it fixed I will upload a better quality video of this. So today I have a story time about the time I was partnered with this girl for um, checking my work in class. And she ended up with doing it with somebody else instead of me. So this is a story about how I was working with this one girl and she... Um, decided to work with someone else for some weird reason. I don't know why. And she um, put me off and my, she got in trouble for it. So this is a story just to teach you guys when your teacher assigns you to work with somebody, you should always work with the person that your teacher assigns you to. So then you don't have so then you don't get in trouble. So I'm going to get started. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. So this all started about 20 to, I'm pretty sure this was maybe about 22 years ago. Yes, I was held back in the third grade. If you would like to see my full story, I will link that down below if you didn't see. And um, we were working on our daily original language, also known as DOL. And what we had to do with our daily original language was we had to eat, correct the punctuations, the capitalizations of certain words, whether it was the beginning of the sentence, someone's name, or like a title of something, whatever. And we had to correct the misspelled words. So that's basically how it worked. And we were pair doing a partner check and... Um, we, um, so what a partner check is, I'm sure you guys all know if you've been in school, you know what a partner check is and when you pair with a partner and you check your work and you make sure you got all the right answers. And um, if you had a different answer than your partner, then maybe your answer was wrong or their answer was wrong, depending on what the teacher put on the board. So that's basically what a partner check is. So basically, um, I was paired with daily original language partner check and I get ready to go and check my work with her. But then I look and notice she's partnered with one of my, is working with one of my friends and doing a partner check. So my teacher walks up to me and asks, hey Mina, why aren't you working with daily original partner check? And I tell her, cause she's already paired with somebody else. So my teacher looks and is like, and she's pretty upset with what Daily Original Partner Check did. So basically, um, she walks up to Daily Original Partner Check and goes, Daily Original Partner Check, I asked you to do a partner check with Mina and blah, 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 blah. You weren't supposed to go up and do a partner check with somebody else and blah, 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 blah. So, um... So um, my teacher tells Daily Original Partner Check she has to go move her name to the bucket. So basically when I say this, we had our names on these little wood, um, round wood things and we had them hanging from a piece of yarn and they were hung on the wall. So um, when we were good, we were on the honor wall and when we were bad, we got a warning and got put on the dishonor wall. And then if we were really bad, we got moved to the bucket. And then if we were ever in the bucket, we would owe my teacher the recess. So basically she tells me my, my teacher tells Daily Original Language Partner Check to go move her name to the bucket. And then she goes, I'm already in the bucket. And then my teacher goes, then you owe me your next recess. So right when she says that, the bell rings and I go out and play with my friend who Daily Original Partner Check was working with. And so um, Daily Original Partner Check has to sit on the bench and she watches us which is everybody playing. And then she has some time to think about what she had done to me. And then um, the bell rings. And so she walk daily original language partner check walks up to me and apologizes to me for ditching me and checking my work with her. And I said, that's okay. And I was super nice. I think what happened was she 
um, got asked to partner with somebody else, but then I think she forgot she was partnering with me. I don't know. It was really weird. So basically, I was super nice and told her that's okay. And I told her it's told her and I just let it go because it didn't bother me that much. It only bothered my teacher. So then when we get back to class, Daily Original Language Partner Check apologizes to my teacher and my teacher is very nice. And she explains to my and my teacher explains to Daily Original Language Partner Check that if she's ever paired up with people, she has to work um, with those certain people. She can't just um, she can't just um do go ignore the person she's supposed to work with and do whatever she wants she has to work with the person that sometimes she is assigned to which she agreed to so the problem never happened again which was good so the moral of the stories is with your when the moral of the story is, story is, is when you're paired with a certain partner that your teacher assigns to you, you should always stick with that partner. And um, if you don't stick with that partner, then uh, your teacher's going to get mad at you. It's important to kind of do what your teacher says in class. You don't just go off and do whatever you want. You should always follow the rules no matter what. So just keep that in mind. So... So that was a story about how I was paired with a girl who refused to do a partner check with me. I hope you guys enjoyed the story. Thank you so much for watching. And hopefully when I get my phone fixed, I will redo my video, video and do a better edited one. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometime. And I'll see you in another video soon. Bye.